Hey, you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2! We are the Anonymous Dynasty, and... Oh, what is this? My king wants to institute the Ruler War Declaration Sovereignty Law, uh, which I believe will make it so that he and only he can declare wars, as opposed to... Um, as opposed to requiring the council to do it. I guess I could double check. To watch the royal laws of France. Um, ruler war declaration. And his vassal war declaration. Oh, war declaration. Yeah, I'm totally in favor of the ruler being in control of that. Because, again, it helps our dynasty, and that's exactly what we're trying to go for. Um, now, we might be able to start some shit as is. Now, we haven't, because I did do that thing that time where I disbanded my troops outside of my borders. We were not peaked on our troops, but we now are, so we will be looking at that. Hello, Elifoil. Um, in an effort to continue doing things a little bit differently, uh, we'll go ahead and get you a duty. Um, um, focus, although again, we will probably be going back to a whole bunch of etiquette, because I still think that's really cool. So, I mean, wars we could start would mostly be internal wars, and we could do it without even a, a valid claim. Um, Mortain over here, the Duchess of Normandy, so that... Sarazen is over here. Your heir is outside the dynasty, yeah. You're not, you're, you might still have kids, but not very many. Well, I mean, if there's still a chance that our dynasty gets into Normandy at some point, uh, I might not have to declare wars on her. And so it might be more of a thing like, hey, what's going on in Tours over here? Well, you are a count that bends the knee directly to him. Um, which means, yeah, I can't declare war on you. Well, I could, but that would be the king. You're already my kinsman, so I'm not looking to do anything there. And Duchess Evil. Well, 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 well. So the Duchess of Flanders. I could claim Flanders for some dude. But is this the... That's the entire duchy. So you're not going to fall under my, my thing. Troop count is about the same. We don't have infinite amounts of money. I feel like like shopping for a for a war option is really going to be quite thin. Um, it'd be nice if we could start something over here. Maybe I'll see if I can. Oh no, but I look. You've got like crazy packs and relationships and permanent suzerain. Presumably, this is the permanent suzerain of Austrasia, and they are. Yeah, it does link it as specifically allied. So we can't. We'd be fighting everything over there. I don't think there's an easy and straightforward little war for us to fight. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and just keep upgrading our holdings. I suppose we'll focus on uh, on Orléans uh, as a primary. So we'll wait for some more constructions to get done before we order some more ruler war declaration sovereignty laws. See, I'm totally in favor of that. Are you still trying to execute me? Are you still trying to kill me? It'd be nice if we got this plot off before that happened, because we're trying to protect him. From this faction, which has huge lead strength. Okay, it has dropped. This guy had over 100% for a little while. Uh, Civil War in France changed who was the king of France, which you don't want to do. Uh, De Haak could use some guidance. Ah, let's do it. So I realize that we're going to become bitter rivals. But you're going to become ambitious. And I want as many people of my dynasty as possible to be ambitious. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna be dirty, including to ourselves. But I think it's a good start right now to try to set up as much of that as possible. Um... Lungbrona over there. I, mean, I could fabricate claims over here, too. I mean, the thing is, it's okay to sit on our hands a little bit. And just wait until the King of France starts something interesting. French Holy War from Gascon. Yeah! Tell you what, we're officially going to go ahead and join that Holy War. Because um, that is going to be nice. We have to wait for the okay there. Daremling Anonymous, you've got some traits. Oh, you're timid. That's too bad. Um, hmm, intrigue versus learning. You know what, we do have a lot of intrigue. You know what, I'll go for intrigue, because when we have an opportunity to get high people of intrigue in our in our dynasty, that's probably good. There we go, we've got the okay. So we're officially part of this war, and expanding France would be very good. So in fact, even though I don't need to, I will go ahead and raise everyone up, and maybe I'll, uh, I'll focus on actually grabbing... 
Um, Cornuyal. Cornuyal? I don't know. This place. Not Cornwall. We're going to go and, and take these guys over here. So we'll go and see besiege that, and then we'll go back down. Um, but I think it'll work out okay. I don't know, you know. Can, you can't get a count in this game of everyone on both sides, huh? No, we've got multiple wars. Ooh, Lollard Uprising. Lollard Uprising. Um, we are mostly going to stay away from them because they're a little too big. But yeah, we'll just siege that out. You shouldn't come for us, I don't think. If you do, we'll probably run. Oh! Oh! Maybe I'm getting assassinated! Maybe I'm getting assassinated, you guys! Send your driver explaining... Their interests lie with you a lot. You offer the belongings you carry with you. They merely laugh. Is your blood you want? I have died. Oh no! What a tragic shame. So now we're playing as Duke Marbin over here, um, who's 59, and why is? Hang on. Why is this the line of succession? Uh, oh, 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 uh, oh, uh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. It's because our primary title is the Duchy of Savoie. Now, if I make Orléans my primary title, and the Duchy of Savoie is Agnatic, Cognatic, Gavel kind. So, if I make Orléans my primary title again, which I think I would like, I don't know if that's going to move my capital. Looks like I'm still chilling here, but presumably I can make the county of Orléans. Um, how do I move? I don't know. Did that change the succession lines? Why is it still gavel kind? Is it because of where my my seat is? I can only move my capital during peacetime. Okay, I'm thinking if I move my capital here, I may not have even needed to change my um my primary title. Ooh, look at that four star stewardship. On her. Oh, she's not in our actual dynasty. That's too bad. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I want to be your marshal. That's going to be fine. Finished her education. Oh! Are you part of... Talked about following Evan. Tried to do this for her. Ask her how well she's going. Oh, we, we may be getting rid of her some of her traits. She's going to gain the cha trait chaste. I think she was lustful, so I guess that's okay. What kind of important decisions do we have here? Uh, we can ask our liege for a title, which we may as well do. Acquire a title. Awesome! What'd you give me? County of Venessin. We are now at nine of eight! Eight domain size. We have good stewardship? No, we don't, actually. Oh, Gavelkind lets you have um, a bigger, um, a bigger um, domain. If I change my focus over to pure stewardship, let's see here. Ruler stewardship bonus plus one. I don't know what the break point is. Maybe it's every five? In which case, plus three would bring me up to a ten. There you go, nine of nine. I'm all sick of being kind to everyone. Well, that's unfortunate, but not a big deal. Um, I could set crown focus somewhere. Which, I think we would set it here. And yeah, we'll have to wait for peace. No, I don't, I don't want to support the council at any point. So yeah, we'll continue to help siege this. Um, did we get the finger bones and things like that? Yes, we did. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raised too long. They'll be fine. 
Now, one of the downsides to seniority succession is it does mean that you'll almost always have the short range, but uh, uh, short rain penalty is what I meant to say. Although we're not going to have that in the Duchy of Savoy because he already had that going on. But in the Duchy of Orleans, that might be a bit of a thing. Hello, Garnet. The little bit of state diplomacy, a little bit of state learning. Tell you what, well, let's just go etiquette again for you. See if we can get a high diplomacy thing going on for you. That'll be okay. Got the war score. I mean, I might want to go. Yeah, he's got enough troops that he can fight over there just fine. What I'll probably do is, whoa, that is even more uprisings. Hmm. Castle's walls were finished in Orléans. So let's go ahead and spend the money. I think that's going to be okay. On, we got a lot of options now that we got those walls up. Um, I'll get the next tier of barracks. I like the heavy infantry. They're very strong. Campaign has been, this campaign has been proof that Bishop is a good person to spend time with. Oh, we made friendship uh, from uh, being on campaign together. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, you guys better not move here. We're going to get obliterated. We might have a very short reign. So, let's go up to speed 4. I think that's going to be fine. They might be going to crush the Lollards. We might jump in on that battle or just continue seizing. I mean, I want some, you know, some honorable combat, but I guess the siege is pretty important. And we're too close to breaking it, so it's going to be fine. Okay, and it's done. 57%. I think we can't... Well, that is a pretty big group of dudes. You know what? I will just link up with my ruler over here. Boom. There we are. One of my courtier died a natural death. Um, my domain size is now 10. Okay. I think I might give Geneva away. Although it does make a lot of money, doesn't it? Oh, wrong holding type. Oh, 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 we have a, a bishopric here. Okay, that's what went on. I'm just going to create... I'm going to be super lazy. I'm just going to create a new vassal. Done. Just spawn him and finish that up. I'm okay with it. So now we're back down to 9 of 9. We don't have the incorrect holding. More people are dying off, but that's not a really big deal. We are linking up over here. We're just slightly behind in movement, but that's okay. A uh, bunch of successful sieges. The Hawk! Seldoner Study, three-star fortune builder. Very nice. Um, we, perhaps after the war stopped, we'll go ahead and try to marry off a bunch of people. Uh, Debatra. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll give you Marshall. It's not as handy because you probably can't lead armies, but you can still give a boost to a husband or something like that. Um, we're not going to do council support. Okay. The French Holy War for Gascoigne has ended. It has been a victory for France. The Lollard Rebellion seems to be down. These are all just people um, sieging stuff down, like uh, raiding. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop my troops. Raiding does suck, but we'll... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could have gone and taken them, but maybe not now. Okay, so now that we're at peace, um, what I want to do is I want to make this my capital. So let's just check. Agnatic, Agnatic, Gabalkine. Agnatic, 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 Gabalkind. That's slightly annoying. So if I reign for 10 years, I can change my succession laws to either seniority, or we might go to elective monarchy, um, since we do have all the ability to do that, and we can just, um, we can hopefully do something. We'll see how it goes. Um, so we do have an idle chancellor here. Could fabricate claims, but I'm not sure that it's that helpful for us. I don't think we want to so defend the sense. So what we might do is just go and suck up in Paris for a bit, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, training troops, I guess, is okay. You might not be in the right area, but we'll see. You'll study technology. You know, there's still disease and stuff going on down here. Tell you what, study technology way down there. That's going to be okay. And you can improve cultural spread here. Yeah, so they're going to take a bunch of gold away from me, but... I think I'll just accept it. I probably should have fought them, 
The fact that there were two scared me, but there are two different uh, Viking factions, so it might be all right. Wow, these are really big Viking raids and stuff. Jeebus. Oh. Stuart went away. What are you powerful? How good? Oh, you're a really good Stuart. All right, that'll do. So any more culture tech over here. Yeah, maybe I should have just uh, fought them. The problem is now that I've dropped my army. If I just do the safe, like by holding control, I don't know if I'll get enough. Someone might fancy me. One of my courtiers? Am I married? You know what? Let's make a move. So, so I'm part of the uh, the society. Well, this guy's actually all the way up to Conversus as well. Very impressive. I can, oh, I should get rid of his slothful. Um, oh, I can't. Can I invite him to court? Yeah, we're a good tumble. Because you're not actually running anything right now. Oh, I'm paused. That's why I can't go. Excellent. So now that you're in my court, um, I can not do anything. How do I get rid of your slothful? I've got the points for it. Oh, he can't be a commander. And he is a commander. Um, not for me. Okay, whatever. Let's just move on. I can send him into hiding, because someone's presumably killing him, trying to kill him. Alright, well, we'll do it. Swords are sharp and dangerous. Oh, no! Craven! You join me, small gathering of friends, to dine and forget about the world outside for a while. Um, of course I'll come. I'm sure this is totally fine and okay. Oh, there's an actual Cathar uprising. Oh. Okay. At least we're clear here now, all of a sudden. They've moved on. Yeah, I'm not going to stress too much. Running has got no money because it was looted. It also lost its prosperity bonus, which does all suck. Will that be the way that it's going to be? Um, I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and truth management, County of Shots is prospering. Nice. We're going to build some more things over here in Orlean. In particular, I think we might go and just build some more fort levels. They're really cheap to do. And make it a little harder for them to just casually siege out. Oh, uh, build a war chest. I fulfilled the ambition. That was quick. Good drinks and food, carousing, everything's fine. Or was fine until Count Wolfram unexpectedly threw a fit of rage. You're not sure why, but he's coming at you with his fist up. I can try to calm him down because I've got a high diplomacy skill. Which has got some pretty good options. Uh, I don't think we got any of the boosts from it, unfortunately. But there we go. So we ended the event. We had a little bit of a party. And that'll have to do. I am disappointed about the succession laws. Gavelkind is not good for us. Gage him... Oh! Orthodox. No. I'm going to engage him in a debate. Maybe we can convert him. Region Council support. No. No. Arrange marriage. Oh yeah, I need to do... Now that we're at peace, I need to actually arrange the marriages. Um... Incest, huh? Well, you're asking me to do it, so I feel like I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, so presumably that's happening. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find characters, I'm gonna clear the filters, I will load the filter to find everyone, say, within just my court who is of my dynasty and is unmarried, and we'll see what we can do. Um, infirm... You know what? Lover's Pox. I think Wooden Trap Door. I think you are going to take the vows. <laughs> You're not allowed to sleep with anyone anymore. Done. Alright, Chunky Lover. Let's start with you here. Now, we could go shopping wide and far, but we'll see what we can do. Now, marrying someone who's got claims is always good. Um, maybe there's a genetic trait. We do have someone who's quick over here. Yeah, you're a bastard. But quick is a pretty good trait. We might be able to pass that on to some kids. Um, we've got another quick over here. Now, you are chaste lesbian. So that's probably going to be a little harder to make some babies. 
So let's go and do the quick bastard right over here. So you're going to marry Chunky Lover. Excellent. Now to hack over here. Claims. Ooh, Flanders, really? And they can be... Okay, not that one. You can get a country one, or a county one. Done. Matrilineal, excellent. Good. J21 balls, whoops. Your wife died. Oh, sorry, wrong button. Your wife died. Countess of Bourbon. Bourbon. Oh, you've got a hair lip. Hey, we can marry someone who's already pregnant. That's interesting. Uh, you're only six. It's too much of an age difference for me. <laughs> I know, it's like, God, this game is weird. See, 11's manageable. We could go ahead and get a betrothal going on here. Let's do that. Uh, you took the vows. So, Terja over here. 47. So, you're not going to have any more kids. So, uh, we can just try maybe to marry you off to someone for some sort of relationship. Here, right here. Done. Boom. Okay. That should take care of a few things. So right now we're looking to rule for um, 10 years if we can. Maybe change our laws to, I don't know, elective monarchy or something like that. Another Cathar revolution. Distinguish himself in battle. Okay, good for him. <gasps> Daughter was born to... Oh, she's a bastard. What is the name of our bastard daughter going to be? It's going to be Jordan! Jordan Spence, thank you very much for your support. Jordan over here. Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's my bastard child! Right! Oh, well, let's totally legitimize, legitimize her. Do it. There we go. Legitimize bastard. Excellent. Just keep expanding the family tree one way or another. Anton needs a focus. Um, all right, let's go back to etiquette at this point. That's going to be okay. A party of soldiers flying the baton of Countess uh, Mathilde of Anjou recently set up camp in the middle of a field belonging to farmers in Orléans. According to the farmer, their campfire spread out of control. Tire crop was reduced to ashes. He has brought the matter before the court and demands compensation. Uh, forced her to compensate. She would lose money and not like me. Yeah. Gates of Hell? What the hell is that? I mean, literally. Uh, Divine Act? Peasant? No. I shall pay him. No, no. Screw it. She can pay him. I'm not going to pay this stuff. Um, are you still building? No, you're not. Good. We're going to... Um, we can just get the percentage boost over here with the keep. Just need all the... Um, let's go for the percentage boost at this point. It's going to be okay. It's a bigger garrison and everything, too. It's going to help hold things. we got an open council position. we got our steward again. Um, the possessed steward? Sure. He likes me. This is fine. Um, yeah, just keep researching technology in Orléans. And yeah, do the military tech over here as well, rather than training up uh, some extra levies. That's going to be okay. So we're going to do that. We could develop um, the capital of the Savoy Duchy, but there's a good chance we won't keep that because it's not our primary. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and take him out of hiding. It's probably fine. We've got various claims we can press. Not for anyone directly in my family. Well, look at this guy. I mean, I could declare war on Australia, but I think that would be very dangerous. Who's this? It's J4A Ace Man. Um, are we gonna go back to etiquette at this point? Sure. Let's just let's just do that. Although you're quite good at learning, I don't know if like one of these leads to like more pro pro learning ideas or what. Stewardship, diplomacy. All right. Tell you what. Let's go for humility. See what we can do to sort of focus on a, a really strong stat. Can I have Valais change culture to French? French. That's good. 62. We were so close to unifying our bloodlines. Uh, no, I don't need favors. Probably. 
Is he in hiding? Or no, Margaret is in hiding. You want me to donate my family relic to the church? Uh... No. Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Find the will of the church. No, I'm gonna say no. I don't care about the penalty. I want to keep these relics within the family. Um, you know what? Speaking of things inside the family, we have a lot of money, right? Can we make, like, a turbo sword and will that get passed down? Armor, jewels... I guess it could be anything. You know what? Let's get cool armor. Protect us on the battlefield or something like that. Um, oh, I'm stressed! Council support, no, go away. Domain's too big all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Abdominal pains. My liege's council is discontent. Hold on. <gasps> King Charles the Careless of France. Now, first of all, let's make sure. It's still inside the family, which is good. Um, and what's the inheritance laws in France? Magnetic gavel kind, which is possibly unhealthy. But I guess it's going to do for now. Why did my domain get weaker? Why did my stewardship go down by one? Oh, is it stressed? Yeah, it is the stressed. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. Just hold on for now. Oh, I have cancer. Oh, so I'm just going to die soon anyway. Humors were restored. Uh-huh. Dull pain begins to throb. Is there anything I can do in the Legion's Council? Like, no. Um, is there anything I should change in my... Oh, no, I'm waiting. I might not rule for ten years. I might not be able to change my succession laws. Sudden gurgling and feeling pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you face to make a dash to the privy. I now have diarrhea. That's not good. Ah, remarkable armorsmith. Yes, let's invite him to my court. I will seek treatment for illness, even if it's crazy. Yep, cancer. Uh, I'm gonna go to the monastery, sure. Once Marshall has assured me Armorsmith's craftsmanship left nothing to be desired, I received him in the throne room, he introduced himself as Master Nicholas, and gestured towards numerous assistants. Well carried examples of his work. Did my duke have anything special in mind? Uh, oh, one option. Just make armor. Bonus to morale, offense, as well as martial, personal combat skill, and monthly prestige. Filled my, pe my pillows with dry branches of lavender and peppermint, hopefully, hoping it would relieve your headache. It smelled lovely. Well, a slight boost to health, so I might not die right away. I don't think you can... Normally, you don't get over the cancer in this game. I mean, maybe there's like a divine intervention or something like that, but I'm pretty sure you just have cancer forever, assuming... Now, I don't officially have it. Signs are pointing to cancer, but it doesn't mean I necessarily have it. Um, three examples. I want... I wonder if there would have been another option. But yeah, we're going to dump, like, all our money on a turbo set of armor. Now, what happens, I just realized, if I die before it finishes? Uh, during the afternoon, I went to check on the progress. went in to see him getting help, uh, help getting my courtier, Berta, to help with the forging process. Together, they're lifting pieces of metal, and Nicholas was from Berta out of mode. Okay, so Berta Capit over here is going to get brawny. I'll lose prestige. Anyone likes it. Or I can do this, and people don't like me as much, but I gain some prestige. Oh, there's a 5% chance that he'll focus on a task and produce a superior piece of work. Let's do it. French claims... Oh, we're at war against Australia. I should go and get involved. Okay, I do officially have cancer. Um, I'm going to officially offer to join... Are you disfigured? Wow. Join in the war on... Wait. Oh, yeah. This side. King of France. I'm officially joining in. I'm going to claim Köln. And we are going to go and raise all of our troops. Let them group up. You, our soldiers, will play a game of military strategy. Um, Charles the Blind comes to you. I trust the knowledge. We're going to do a mystical treatment. 
He's blind. Blind people are, like, cool mystically, right? Okay, you accept my help. Ah! Oh, I will be cured! The room was lit up by the flame of the candle facing the westward window. Charles painted your nails with drops of oil. You felt the heat in your skin as you moved your hand towards the flame. Do not fret, my lord. By the wisdom of God, you shall be cleansed. I'm going to become one-handed. I'm no longer going to be patient, but I will be cured of cancer. Here I was saying, yeah, you don't tend to get cured from cancer. Uh-huh. Although our um, stewardship is still down to an eight, which is causing us some trouble, but we'll see what we can do soon. Um, I might lose the straight tress, become gregarious. I'm going to do that. I got gregarious. I don't think I lost the, tr the stress trait. No, that's too bad. But gregarious is pretty good. Keep was built. Excellent. Uh, I don't have any money to build anything else right now. Righteous imprisonment? Are you serious? What are you trying to do? You're trying to kill Duke Big Franks. Just, just stop. Just stop. Come on. Thank you. See, much better. Okie dokie. Um, let's go and siege this. To help out. Uh, try not to commit suicide on your way. Woke up this morning. I've lost my feeling of love for my lover. Okay. Such is life. Extorting money. Either way, we get the revolt risk. This makes him hate me. He's no longer a uh, marshal. Alright, I'll turn a blind eye to it. <gasps> he stole my gold?! This guy stole my gold! He acted dishonorably towards me. You bastard! I'm gonna revoke your title. Actually, you don't hate me, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, no, it, it's not... Right, because he didn't defy me, so I can't revoke him. Can I ransom him? Here, I'll do that. I'll get some of my gold back. Whatever, it's fine. And then when he's out, I'll give him back his position. It's a revolving door prison. We know this. Oh, there we go. I'll do J21 balls. Family member. It's going to be good. Let's keep getting some tech over here. I don't suppose I can make a quick jump up on anything that's helpful. Yeah. Construction will give me some more medical stuff. More trade value wouldn't be too bad. Churches and barracks and things like... Oh, castle infrastructure! Castle town... Yes, let's do this. We can get the next level castle town started. God damn, I am bitter though. I can't believe he took all that money and just stole it. Like, is that something I have control over? Is that something I can influence or is it just a random chance? I got boned. Oh, after a hundred years after the under the Kingdom of France, the Duchy of Franconia is no longer considered a jour part of the Kingdom of East Francia. Well, there you go. More France, more better. Oh, Thunderdark! And Duke Big Franks! Wait, so you're having an affair with someone of your family? Eh. Keep the gene pool strong! Or, 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 or the opposite. You know, whichever. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm so pissed about losing all that cash. I want to invest something for my family. Here, let's keep building up over here. Um, who's this? Who am I guiding? Berta of the other family. Um, honest, too honest. You, you just be honest. There we go. You're not my family. I want you to be honest with me. <gasps> Witchcraft, dark rituals. Julien claims innocence. Falls to you to determine her fate. Uh, she's a hunchback. Oh well, if she's a hunchback, she's probably a witch. Um, dragged out. Her witnesses seen her performing dark rituals in secluded hut. Related crop failure. Uh, we can do this. Kill her. Lower revolt risk. Gain piety. We can imprison her. <gasps> what nonsense is this? Release the poor woman at once, giving us cultural tech points. No longer content to rest on my laurels. The problems facing your realm are legion. Clearly no one can fix them but you. Ambitious. That's wonderful. Also, apparently I'm getting justice as well. Well, ambitious is great. 
because it's plus two to everything, which has raided my stewardship, so I'm no longer over my domain size, and just makes all your people like you more and give me more stewardship as well. Not that I need to double up on it quite as much. I don't need to become king, although at this point I'm starting to get a little frustrated by the efforts to do this. Big Rebellion has just started up. I don't think it's going to be a problem, though. Ooh, excellent learning to Anton! You're going to get some bonuses to your stats, buddy. Good steward. Excellent. Got a victory in our siege here. And who's this? This is Julian Anonymous, who needs some sort of focus. We will give you the... What do you have a lot of? You have a lot of learning, a little lower in stewardship. Okay, we'll do the diplomacy then. Because of we've got three options for things that could boost his stats. Um, and of those, diplomacy is the highest already, so we'll focus a bit on that. Would have been nice if we had a high base marshal. That probably would have done that. Um, I'm about to get obliterated. No, not me. Um, but I think these guys are now moving to me afterwards, so I might want to escape, for one. Looks like I can't... So we're going to just move away this way. And see if we can't stop one of these smaller guys. That seems like a good idea. Oh, bringing Garnet to the monastery. Excellent. Oh my god, these factions are amazing. I'm always going to have to make sure I'm in one. Although, next time... So this, we're in the Dominican Order again. Um, that's the conversion one. We might do Benedictine next. We're gonna have to do one that's in the Hermetic one and do some potions and stuff. And of course, at some point, we'll do the Lucifer thing. And the Assassins again, or any damn thing. I don't know. And I just realized this video's gone on a bit too long. We, it's a good place for us to put in a cut, so we will do that. Having trouble unifying our family. But the important thing is that the Throne of Paris is still well within my dynasty. Uh, over here, there are some people of other dynasties, but we should have plenty of opportunity for it to stay within things for now. But actually having me run the Kingdom of France is being a little bit more cumbersome than I might like. It's still too early to change my laws, right? Yeah. Does it tell me when 10 years are up? No. And I can't do it while I'm at war anyway, but yeah. We'll pr oh, I think we'll go ahead with the elective monarchy so we can theoretically always elect people with top stats and theoretically anyone with my dynasty should more or less vote for whoever I am nominating. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.